Hello, um, so I'm going to do an example of solving this line integral where uh, c is the curve along y equals square root of x from those two points. So we have to start by parameterizing the curve. Well, there is a natural parameter which is just in terms of x. I mean, I could write it out as like r of x which is like our x-coordinate is just x and the y-component is y which is square root of x you probably may have seen this like in terms of t before where you can parameterize x as t and y as a function of t either way either we use x or t doesn't really matter but our it's going to range uh, from 1 to 4. As you can see here, 1 and 4. That's what we're ranging from. So now if you look at the integrand, in, which is uh, our f of x, y, our integrand is x squared y cubed minus square root of x. We have to rewrite this in terms of just x. So that's so that's basically gonna be well x squared stays the same. Now what is y cubed? Well y is just x to the one half cubed minus x to the one half. So this is also um it's equal to uh let's see x to the 7 halves minus x to the 1 half. We can factor out an x to the 1 half and we can get x to the 1 half times x cubed minus 1. Um, you can check that this works. Now, now we, we, we took care of this part. We have to take care of dy. So how do we do that? Well, y equals square root of x. I mean, we could just differentiate it, but it should just be fancy and use implicit differentiation. So y squared equals x. So 2y times dy would equal to dx. I differentiated both sides. So now, what is dy? dy is but dx over 2y which is also equal to dx or 2 times x to the 1 half. Uh, this again is from our initial, uh, our initial substitution. I mean, it's just the relationship between y and x. So now we have, we have something for dy and we have uh, something for the integrand. So we can, put, we can substitute these in here and change the limits accordingly. So, so now our integral is, our x ranges from 1 to 4, as you can note these two points, x to the 1 half, x cubed minus 1, that is our integrand, and our dy, we plug in this, so that's dx over 2 times x to the 1 half. So we got lucky and these two cancelled out. So that's what we have to solve for. That's really straightforward. I'll still do it anyways. I'll do it fast though. Uh, the 4 is a little sloppy, but it's the top of it. It should be in the top of the integral. It's a limit. Uh, the x. So that is x4 over 4 minus x, where x equals to 4 and x equals to 1. Oh, and this whole thing times 1 half, which when you eventually work it out, um, I mean, I could do this, but you can just trust my word that it's going to be 1 half times 60 
and 3 fourths. I mean, that's where that, yeah. And that's equal to 60 watts divided by 2 is 30 and 3 eighths. Or 243, all right. And this right here is the solution to this using using the parameterization of in terms of x thanks